Hello friends. In this problem, a triangle has been given, and this triangle is ABC. Length AC is equals to seven unit. Length AB is equals to eight unit. And there is a point D on side BC such that DC is equals to two unit, and BD is equals to x unit. Point D and point A has been connected so that AD length is equals to seven unit. We have to find length BD, that is this length. In other word, we have to find value of x. I will solve this problem using construction, and I will apply congruent triangle and Pythagoras theorem. So let us try to see how we can solve this problem. So let us first do a construction. From point A, draw a perpendicular line on base BC. So A is perpendicular on BC. So we have drawn A E perpendicular on BC. Now let us consider these two triangle. The first one is A D E. that is this triangle and the second is aec that is this triangle now if you consider these two triangles this length is equals to this length that is ad is equals to ac and both are equal to 7 unit also angle aed that is this angle is 90 degree Is equal to AEC because this angle is also ninety degree. So this line is perpendicular. This means this is ninety and this is also ninety. So these two angles are equal. And A is common. So A is part of this triangle and A E is also part of this triangle. This means now these two triangles are congruent. So I can say triangle ADE. that is this triangle congruent with aec this means now i can also say this length is equals to this length that is de is equals to ec but what is this total length this total length is given in the problem that is two unit this means this length is one unit and this length is also one unit because these two lengths are equal So DE is equals to EC, and this is equals to one unit. So this length is one unit, and this length is also one unit. Now consider this triangle AEC. This triangle. I can apply Pythagoras theorem. So if I apply Pythagoras theorem, I can say AE square plus EC square, and this is equals to AC square. That is hypotenuse. A is what? So A is not known, but E C is known. E C is equals to one. So now I can write A S square plus E C or C S square is one square, and this is seven square. So from here I can say A E S square is equals to forty eight. This means A is equals to root forty eight, and we have to ignore the negative root, negative sign, because length cannot be negative. so we have to only consider positive root that is a is equals to root 48 so now i know this length a this length is root 48 so i will use this so this length is known and this length is root 48 now let us consider this triangle that is abe in this triangle again i can apply pythagoras theorem that is this square Plus this square is equals to this square, so that is a b a square. That is, this should be basically a e a square. So this should be a e a square. So there is a mistake. So this is a e a square plus b e a square. That is this distance is equals to a b a square. So this is a e. So what is a root forty eight? So root forty eight square. And what is b e? So this distance is x, and this distance is one. So this distance is x plus one. So this is x plus one whole square. What is AB? This is eight unit. So this is eight square. So now let us expand this. So this is forty-eight, and this will be a plus b whole square. 
This is simply a square plus b square plus 2ab. That is x square plus 1 plus 2x and this is equals to 64. Now if you cancel terms and simplify, this will be simply x square plus 2x minus 15 is equals to 0. Now I can solve for x. There are two ways by which we can solve. Either I can use quadratic formula or I can use factorization. So in this case, I will be using factorization. So I can write 2x, which is basically 5x minus 3x. So I can rewrite 2x as 5x minus 3x. Now I can take x common here. So if I take x common, so this will be x plus 5. That is x plus 5 times x, which is sim same as x square plus 5x. Here I can take minus 3 common. So I will have x here and here, here I will have 5. Now x plus 5 is here and x plus 5 is here. So I can take x plus 5 common. So what is left? I will have x minus 3. So now I can see this can be rewritten as x minus 3 times x plus 5 and this is equals to 0. Now there are two possibilities, either this is 0 or this is 0. If this is 0, x is equals to minus 5. And if this is 0, x equals to 3. So there are two root possibles, that is x equals to 3 or x equals to minus 5. But x is a length and length cannot be negative. So I have to ignore this root and we have to only consider this root that x is equals to 3. So x equals to 3 is the solution. This means length BD is equals to 3 unit. So I hope you enjoyed this problem and if you like these videos, please share with your friends, like on my channel, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.